Green living is the life for me. I just love sustainability. Hi, I'm Rick Gardner, and uh, welcome to my blog, Green Living is the Life for Me. Today, I'm coming to you from the crawl space under Chris Boudreaux's house, and we're going to learn a little bit about his uh, tankless water heater. Uh, but before we get started, Chris, I wanted to ask you if you could tell me what sustainability means to you. Sustainability to me means using as little of the Earth's resources as possible to save it for future generations. Okay, Chris, so you got this tankless water heater uh, a few years ago, and uh, how's, been, how's your experience been? I got it in 2009, and it has worked without fail. We really enjoy it at the house. Okay, and so um, what's the difference between a tankless water heater and a regular water heater? A regular water heater keeps the 50 gallons or 40 gallons, depending on your size, it keeps it at a constant temperature all year round, whether you use the hot water or not. So it, in the winter time, it has to work harder to keep 120 degrees or 130 degree water, whereas the tankless only heats water up as you turn on the hot water faucet in the house. Okay, so when, when you, uh, what led you to go to a uh, tankless water heater? When our water heater started leaking, it was in the attic space of the house, and I had heard too many stories about water heaters failing, flooding the house, flooding the walls, ruining the floors. I was looking around for another location, and the crawl space is too short to put a traditional water heater, so the plumber that came out uh, talked us into getting a tankless in this location on the outside wall of the crawl space. Okay, and so this was back in 2009? Correct. And uh, how much did this particular unit cost compared to a, 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 a regular tank water heater? A traditional water heater was anywhere from twelve to fifteen hundred dollars depending on the model and the options it had. This unit was twenty five hundred dollars installed uh, and removal of the old system. So I thought it was uh, a good deal at the time and the payback period was you know under three years. So I said it was a no-brainer for me. Yeah, and then um, there were also incentives at that point? Correct. There was a federal 25% federal tax incentive and a $200 uh, credit on your gas bill from the from the gas company. Oh, very good. So well, so tell me about your experience. What, it, what have you learned uh, from having a tankless water heater? Well, I've learned that when you take a shower, you can't just turn the water to a trickle because it'll turn off the water heater. It takes a certain amount of flow for it to run. But uh, so we've adjusted to that. And also, we can take two showers at the same time and never run out of hot water. Um, and you can flush the toilet. It doesn't affect the operation of this at all. So we've been very pleased with it. And so you, you would basically do this again if you had the opportunity? If this one failed, I would replace it with another one. And I, I would also look into putting another one on the other side of the house um, so we would get hot water faster in the other bathroom and the, and the laundry room on the other side of the house. Yes. Okay. So when you say faster, you're just talking a matter of seconds, though. Yeah, uh, maybe 10 seconds versus 20 seconds to get hot water on the other side of the house. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Is there anything else that you would like to say about a tankless water heater? And maybe, uh, I mean, really what it boils down to is it's it saved you not water, but it saves you gas, right? Correct. And, and like, how, how, does, how do your bills from the tanked water heater compared to the water, the tankless water heater? I say we, we uh, the, the gas to, for the tankless is about half, but the other danger is you have to, you don't run out of hot water, so the danger is you could use more hot water in your shower than normal because with a tank, it runs out, it starts getting cold. With this one, it never gets cold. So it's an adjustment you make in your lifestyle. We've really enjoyed it though. All right, Chris, thank you for joining me today on, on my blog and uh, and thanks uh, for telling us all about your tankless water heater. You're welcome, Rick. I'd like to thank the man behind the camera, Mr. Sam. Bye. All right, thanks. Thanks, Sam.